Welcome to the Quick Street Workshop. In my previous video, I showed you how I assembled the rotor and I made the seals to keep the water in. I drilled some holes through plastic and it was quite a job to make these, these seals. But um, at the end, it sealed very well. And I also made the bed. Unfortunately, I didn't take some footage of that uh, when I welded it. But um, I showed you how I assembled the bearings and I showed you how I installed the, the pulleys and installed the whole rotor assembly into the beta. And then lastly, I also showed you a little bit of um, the motor, how I fixed the motor to the threaded rods underneath. And also the electrics and the problems I had with the diagrams that didn't work out. But if you want to go see that video, there's a little tab there at the top that you can press and you can see that in my previous video. I hope you enjoy this one. Here I'm filling it with water for the very first time. Uh, it's partly to rinse it out and also to check for leaks. So there's no leaks and I switch it on for the very first time and it's working. There was some issues with uh, splashing um, that I had to fix by welding in an extra piece of uh, flat bar in underneath the lid and that solved that issue. And then I adjusted the blades for the very first time, uh, very slowly, um, until I hear it grinds. Uh, and then at that point, I know that the blades are touching. So to make the lids, I used polycarbonate sheeting. It's a five millimeter piece of polycarbonate. Uh, I use polycarbonate because it's stronger than Perspex. It doesn't crack. Uh, or scratch out easily and very tough and durable. It's important to, to have a cover there but yet also at the same time to be able to see through um, what you're busy beating. There was a little issue with the one cover I had to, to heat it up and bend the part uh, also to keep the, the water in at that point. I ended up turning the cover around and using it the other way around than it intended and it worked out well. So here I'm just finishing up the last cut on this piece. We packed it in our car and it was a tight fit. I had to take the, the, the caster wheels off to, to have it fit. And then when we arrived at the client, I put a piece of sandpaper around the drum. It's an experiment. I wanted to see if it works. Normally what they will do is they'll put a abrasive in the water and let it run for a couple of hours. But I wanted to see if this works. And it actually worked very well. It grinded just a little bit into the bed to nest the rotor with the bed. So we, the client filled it with water again and rinse it out and then started using it. And you can see uh, uh, it's much quieter now. She's not grinding it in uh, so, so uh, deep because she wants the fibers to be uh, not too fine. If you make paper, 
if you grind the paper, then you you mesh the the, the rotor with the with the bed more. But for this purpose, to to beat up fibers of cotton and pieces of material, it works very well. And I'm also very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the seals where the where the rotor runs through the the top, they seal very well, and there's minimal spillage. Yeah, you can see some results of um, the cotton fibers after it's been beaten for a couple of hours. If you are interested in to build a machine like this, you can contact me. I have plans available for building one of these. Hope you have a wonderful week. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.